In this short video, I want to show a really common mistake I see made with location targeting in Google Ads. Uh, so this particular business approached me saying, oh, we don't understand why we've got two campaigns. So they're, they're a business based in New Zealand. Um, they've got two campaigns, one that targets uh, one particular state or province within New Zealand, Canterbury, for anyone who knows what that is. That's where I live in Canterbury. Uh, if we zoom in on the map, that is the excluded portion from this particular campaign, and I'll explain in more detail in a moment. So I've got one campaign that targets Canterbury, which is one of the provinces, and then a campaign that targets the rest of the country, and that's because they have a slightly different business structure within Canterbury. They need to show a different ad, basically. Uh, and what the client came along and said is, oh, we've set these campaigns up. We don't understand why our Canterbury campaign uh, has about a 10 times higher cost per click than our New Zealand-wide campaign that's excluding Canterbury. And so had a quick look and pretty quickly worked out what the issue is. And that is this campaign I'm in now, which is the rest of New Zealand, the nationwide campaign with just Canterbury excluded. You can tell it's an excluded location because of the red shading around the area. This particular campaign that's meant to target all of New Zealand or the rest of New Zealand actually has no positive location targeting set. So what that means is if you actually go beyond the targeted location reports and instead go to the matched locations report, what that's going to do is show you that actually this ad is running in a whole load of different countries. And you can see here that India, South Africa, UK, Malaysia, four different countries over the last 30 days that have actually seen uh, you know, greater impressions and clicks on this advertiser's ads than you've seen uh, from New Zealand, which is the only place this business serves. You can't buy from this company if you're in India or South Africa or the UK. There's just no relevance. So they're not going to dispatch the product overseas. And you can even see here that they're getting conversions registered from India, for example, and South Africa and UK. So people are going on and filling out a contact form, a sort of request pricing form. Uh, and the client is just seeing these as kind of spam requests, obviously, but actually what Google's doing is showing the ad. Now, this is just a simple setup mistake that, that's caused this um, because the clients just assumed that by excluding an area of New Zealand, that the rest of the campaign is just going to be targeted to uh, you know, New Zealand as a whole, apart from that excluded location, it's just not how it works. Uh, so what they need to do to fix this is to actually come in here and edit the locations and add some positive targeting. So add New Zealand in as a target country. It's highlighted in blue with the, the you know two main islands and the other little sort of uh, mini islands where not many people live. And this client probably wouldn't do much business anyway, but that's besides the point. But you can see here that if we save it now, this is actually gonna fix up the targeting. And so they've targeted New Zealand with the uh, exclusion of Canterbury. And what that's gonna do is properly tighten up the location targeting and mean that the ads are gonna stop running in India and South Africa and Malaysia and so on. Now, as a consequence, they're gonna see a much higher cost per click. Uh, you know, they're gonna see uh, sort of, you know, a prob probable diminishing of impressions and clicks, but it's not really an issue because you don't want your ads running in the wrong countries anyway. So yeah, be wary of this. Um, you know, the giveaway here was just eyeballing the top line campaign metrics and looking at it and thinking, well, hang on, it's very unlikely that there's going to be a tenfold difference in cost per click, you know, within the same country. Uh, it might happen, but it's pretty unlikely. New, New Zealand's a fairly small place. Um, you know, there's nothing happening in Canterbury that, that would justify a sort of 10 times higher cost per click for the same keywords than in Auckland or uh, Wellington down here or anywhere like that. So just be wary of this common mistake I see made. Um, it's one of the easiest ways to kill the performance of your campaign. And a lot of advertisers will not pick up on this because they just look at the top line metrics in the campaign or ad group uh, reports. They don't dig into the location targeting report and see what's going on. If you've got any questions on this, please let me know. You can leave a comment. Uh, if you found the video helpful, please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.